it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So many people had came far distance in the audience out here. Came so far. I have my whole family here from Ohio. I have the Walken family. I have all Pooh's friends. Kamadi. I have Jeffrey Lewis. I got Damien. And I got, um, who else here, Dame? <laughs> and Todd. Todd's here. Chad, Chad, Chad's here. All these was Brian. oh Brian's here. All these was Pooh's classmates, and when they grew up, played basketball and everything to get mad with each other and come back home. And I'm so glad to see everybody here. I have my my bosses in order. Gigi Brito, Mr. Brito's over here. That took care of her and her sisters and everything. This is my family here from Ohio. Uh, my Aunt Thomasina, she's the oldest one here. I have my cousins, Phil and Kathy, Derek and his family. I mean, I, and so many of us out there. <laughs> and my brother Larry Stewart, he's here, you know. I, and I got my, my girlfriends here that we grew up together, Rosalind, Elder Rosalind Lattimore here. And I have Lisa Bracey here in the audience also. And, and, oh, I got Jersey. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mark. I got Jersey here. There's so many people. I, I was in the. Oh, I got John Clayton the family too. I have so many of this. I'm so glad. And Bruce Lord, I stayed in his apartment building too. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate you all coming out. It, 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 I really do. I really I love, but I can see a lot of love my son had for each and every one of you out here. That they drove so many far away and everything, you know. Right now, it's like um, I, I stepped in them these boots and um, I know a lot of people don't wouldn't want to be in my shoes and everything. But now at this point, at, and now at this point, I just feel sort of sort of relief here and here today. And um, it, it, it's a different feeling. It's a different feeling. It's, it's, it's a different feeling for when I went into that courthouse. I said, I can't take it no further. I can't go up. The, I went July 14th. And Mr. John Larkin told me he helped escort me. I said, I need it. I don't want to go up and go down. Because somebody out there saying, tell me July 14th. I don't know why or what it was that my spirit told me. And, and some people kept saying, I don't think you're going to get no July 14th. <laughs> I said, it's a wheels away. So <laughs> somebody told me that I had to sell fish sandwich. I said, fish sandwich? I said, I'm not selling no fish sandwich. I'm going to get this day, July 14th. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> Thank you all. But oh, Carlos, he's my photographer. He's the one that made the banner. I want everybody to check that banner out. Anybody there for Tommy? Go to, go to Staples, Carlos. Thank you all for coming. Yvonne, thank you so much. You know, speaking of family, this city is very unique, it's very special. And I'd like to take a moment just to recognize those who were able to attend with us today. And I know everybody sends their love and best wishes and remembers your son and remembers your sacrifice as well. But today with us, as you've heard us speak already, Senator Andrea Stewart Cousins is here with us today and give, giving us a nice presentation. Thank you, Senator. Thank you so much. Assemblywoman Shelley Mayer comes with the thoughts and her prayers and best wishes. We have from our city council with us today Christopher Johnson, who gave a great presentation. Also with us today from our city council is Michael Sabatino and John Larkin. And if I miss anybody, I really apologize. I'm going to get there. We have with us the former mayor of the city of Yonkers, John Spencer, who's the head of the Central Committee currently. We have the past chairman of the Central Committee with us also, Harold Dworski. From post 375, we have Commander Joe Priscelli. We have Commander Perry. These are all veterans leaders, and with us we have a whole bunch of veterans, including one of my co-workers, Eli Vitrano, 